everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Well, hello everyone and Happy New Year to everyone. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday and I hope you are ready to start your brand new year. I am. So today I'm going to be showing you how I do my chalkboard signs. I don't know what else to call it. My text, if you will. This is just how I do my chalkboard behind me. I have Christmas still on here and I still have 20k from when I celebrated that. And I'm very grateful for that. Thank you very much. I think now it's 25,000 uh, if it hasn't changed. Thank you again very, very much. So I wanna change this now to the occasion and it is a Happy New Year. So that is what I want to put on here. Happy New Year 2019. All right, so what I wanna show you is how I do the signs. Now I can't really teach you manually how you can do this yourself. If you have good handwriting and you have a steady hand and you have some creative mind, then you're probably gonna be able to do this without my even showing you how. So all I'm gonna do is gonna show you what, is it, what it is that I do to create a text like this on a chalkboard. All right, everyone, so the first thing I did was to clean off my chalkboard. I did the best that I could with a moistened rag and then I just dried it a little bit. It does have a little bit of a white film on it from all the chalk that I've used on it previously. I'm not going to worry about that. Don't try to get it perfect. This looks just lovely and besides I like the wear look that it has. Okay so the next thing I do, uh, well actually I did this beforehand and I went ahead and I drew kind of an idea of what I wanted. Normally I just start writing on the chalk, um, on the board I mean, and just start using my chalk and uh, write whatever it is that I'm going to write. I'm just get fancy and do little squigglies and little things around it. But this time I decided to go ahead and uh, draw it and uh, have an idea of what I'm gonna want or what I want it to look like so that it would be efficient for the video. And I just have a little bit of a scratchy bit here of what I've done. If you can see that, it's sort of kind of what I want. I even have my Valentine's Day ready there. So there you can see that. So that's basically maybe what you wanna do is just draw something out, uh, decide, how you want it to look and normally I don't go straight because you know sometimes it's just not level and I'm not going to be measuring so most of the time what I do and that's just a trick is to just do your lettering in angles make them go in little waves if you want don't try to make everything straight because you know you'll have to be doing this and doing and I don't want to do that I add do have a straight edge just in case I do want to draw maybe a straight line but I don't really bother too much with that of course I have plenty of chalk here and I don't use it straight up like that I usually break it because I want the powdery side not the smooth packed side to draw with so you want to keep that in mind I also keep some masking tape this is just some inexpensive masking tape I don't want anything that's really too good that'll stick on there and then I can't pull it off and I'll just be suffering with it now this is cheap and it does tear up on me as I'm pulling it up but I really don't care I just want little little pieces of little straight kind of edges uh, to sort of just mark where I want my lettering to go you could use that uh, blue painters tape if you want to use that instead I keep a wet or moist, not really wet, wet, but just a moist uh, towel in case I want to do some wiping and then some dry napkins. These are just some leftover from Christmas that I'm going to be using. Okay, so that's basically it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, tape up my where I want my lettering to go. So I'm going to get the camera a little bit closer to the board. All right, so I have the word happy and then I have a new year and then I have 2019. So I'm going to have three tiers of wording or numbering, if you will. Uh, so I'm going to make three lines that'll give me the spacing that I need between my words. So I kind of want happy right above this line here. And this also kind of helps me kind of center it on the board here. I want it to say happy new year and the word happy is going to be a little bit smaller and I want new year to be bigger. So let me actually go down a little bit more. Give myself a nice long piece of tape here for my line. And then I'm gonna want the 2019. And then I do kind of want it straight. So then I'm just gonna get another piece of tape. Put that right about, kind of want the numbers to be about that size. So I'll make sure that I've given myself space between these letters and the 2019. I'm looking at it right now and it's not all that straight. I'm just gonna straighten this one up a little bit. And by straightening it up, I mean 
to where it looks like it kind of has the same amount of spacing. And I know that I want my end to be really fancy and big, so I'm going to give myself space right here. This will be new and then year right here. Or I can move it over just a little bit more. So I just want to give myself that kind of a, a spacing. So now what I want to do is I don't want to go beyond and I don't want to go beyond. So I'm going to tape where I don't want to go beyond. And my tape is not coming out very nicely, but I'm just wanting to put a line here. Now I might go beyond with little designs around it, but my lettering, I don't want it to go any further out than that. And now on the other side. So basically I'm just taping off little guides for myself. Just put one on this side. And I'm kind of like looking at the edge here. So I want to do the same thing on this side. You can't see it, but it's kind of more or less about the same amount of space. And then I'll do little squigglies everywhere and balance it out. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. So my first word, as I said, is going to be up here, happy. It's going to be right here. So the other thing that I also decide is how tall do I want my smaller letters. Happy right here. Maybe a little bit more. And I'm going to leave space so that my H can be kind of big. My N will be right here, new, year. That'll be good. So I'm just going to put, I think I want new, the E and the W, not to be any taller than that. And I'm just going to skip some space for my Y here. And then E-A-R, right here. So there we go. That's what I'm doing. So just tape off your little spaces and then just start doing your lettering. Like I said, crack your chalk so that you start with a powdery edge. And then if you also can, is on a little corner. I'll just do it right here so you can see. On the little corner, just take your chalk and twirl it. You're not necessarily giving it a like a pointed edge or anything, but you're just kind of getting rid of those the sharp edging. So you want to do that to your chalk, okay? All right, so now we want to wipe that off. My little mess. And then I'll just dry it up. And it'll dry with the, the air that's blowing. I've got a little fan going here, in case you can hear that. that that's what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my H. Now I'm just going to start with just straight up and down block letters. And block letters just means just as straight as you can or squared off as you can. And then I'll make them fancy. So I want my H right about here. I think I decided that I was going to go with a lowercase. Yes, I did. A lowercase H. And then an A. And you can just make a regular A. You don't have to make one like this. This is my P. And of course, the P is going to come down. But we're not going to worry about it right now. And then the Y. So just try to make them as straight as you can using the guide that you have here, okay? Now my word, and you. And I think I went over a little too much here. And I want a big N. Like that. And I'll fix it up in a little bit. My E. And my W. How did I decide on my Y? I decided that I wanted my Y to be like this, and then it's going to go further down here. And then my other E, A, R. Now as you can see, I didn't go up to the, the line of the bottom of the tape. That's just a guide, okay? So it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to end up doing all kinds of little fancy t things to my lettering. So now my 2019. Okay, so now there I have my happy new year and then 2019. Now I'm going to go and make everything all fancy. So I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off. And if you don't want to waste this tape and it's still good, just put it back on your roll as nicely as you can. from the Dollar Tree. 
masking tape. It's really nice tape. And it's not very sticky, so I like it for this type of project where I'm just going to be masking off some little spots. I don't use it for painting or anything like that. Because obviously the paint would run underneath it. Okay. Now it doesn't look so fancy, does it? Such as some plain old letters. Anybody can do that. But this is where we're going to get creative. Now let's make our letters kind of fancy. I'm going to start off with my H, and I want to make it nice, a little bit taller. And then I want it to loop and come down like that. Make a little, it looks like a treble clef, really, like a musical note there. If you know what that is. Maybe I'm using the wrong term. And then just kind of start thin, get thick. Make a little dot, little dot there at the end of the swirl. I'm going to do the same thing here on the side. And here I'm just going to go straight like that. And then just curve down into it. Just like that. Okay? So let me get the camera a little bit closer so you can see how I do the rest of these letters up here. Okay, I got the camera a little bit closer so you can see how I'm finishing off the bottom of the letter. So again, you're going to be skinny and then get thicker. And there you go, just like that. I'm going to make a little circle here. Make that a little bit wider. Oops, that doesn't have to, I'm sorry, I'm following the line of that, but I'm not going to. So I've got this little paper towel. It's just a little moist. Use that. And then make the little bit here also. You also want to make this go down. It thick and then finish it off the same way. This is what I mean. You're gonna change them a little bit, so don't worry about where you place them. You're gonna fill in all those little negative spaces there. Another line here. The other thing to remember is that when you're doing this, try not to get your fingers to smear. So maybe just use a pinky to rest on. And I usually use the knuckle of my pinky. Get a little fancy with a Y here. Just like that. And then we'll go ahead and fill in. Now, as I'm looking at it, I feel like my Y here is a little too tall, so I'm going to shorten that up a little bit. Okay. And now I can thicken that up. Give it that little curvature. Same over here. This side I don't want it as thick, just maybe just the very top tippy bit of it. And here's where we can get fancy. We can go down, create a big swirl, make a little circle in there, get thin, and then get thicker again. Now we're getting thick on the things that go up and down. Anything that goes sideways will just stay, you know, kind of going, what I mean is like horizontal, anything horizontal, is this right, horizontal? Yeah, anything going horizontal will stay thin and anything going vertical up and down will get thick. So that's what I do. Okay, let me move the camera because I don't think you're seeing this bottom part, but I'll go ahead and finish my my E, W, the E, A, and the R. Okay, let's go ahead and fill this in. Don't have to be perfect, filling in. Okay. And while you're doing this, this is where you can fix a lot of little mistakes.
of my wine. Now I want to make my end kind of fancy as well. The other thing that you're going to experience is you're probably going to get a lot of chalk residue on your top, <laughs> which I have. So I'm just cleaning that off. Okay, so I'm going to make my end a little bit wider. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just erase a little bit of it. Well, that's a lot of it. Okay, so I'm just going to let that little area dry, which won't take too long. And my little chalk piece. I still have the same little chalk piece. I haven't had to grab another one. Okay, I want to make my end a little bit wider, so I'm just going to start like over here and then down. Okay, so I wanted my end to do a little curly cue thing here. I'm going to balance it off by putting like a banner going across it here. Okay, and some some champagne cups over here somewhere. And let's see. So my end here, I want this to swirl out like that. And I want the this end, the first little bit here to be the thicker part. There we go. So this is actually going to come out of this little corner. I'm just making it a little bit thicker, not too much. I'm keeping with the, the angles. There we go. Make it fancy as I can. This is where I'm saying I'm not following any particular text or font because I just changed my lettering around a little bit. Let's move the camera so you can see what I'm doing right here. All right. So I'm basically creating, I guess I'm, I am using a, an existing sort of font, but I'm just changing it up a little bit, making it fancy. So that's where you're going to use a lot of your creativity. But if uh, you need to just look at some lettering, some samples, and you can go to Pinterest, actually, and you can find a lot of ideas for chalkboard art that you can follow. If you're good at doing that, then there you go. Just use that. Let's see, did I do anything fancy down here? No, I just kept my end. Just, of course, I could change it. Why not? Let's do that a little bit. There we go. Okay, now I want to make my 2019 fancy as well. So I'm going to move the camera over to that. And I'm going to make this thick like that. And then I'm going to go up here and make a little, little kind of a go upward and then curve my way back down going this way and then up here I'm going to make a little big fat little droplet right there okay and just fill that in my zero I'm going to make the sides thicker leaving the the bottom thin so just kind of an ovally zero Just like that, nothing fancy. And then my one, I'm gonna make it also wider. So I'm gonna go on both sides of it to make it wide because that way I space it between my zero and my nine. And I'm just gonna go down a little bit at an angle and then come straight back in to give it that kind of a classic one. Now my nine, I wanna go wider towards the outside. And I want to go wider this way because then I have to go this way to make this loop wider and I don't want to do that. So just stay like that. A little bit of a loop right here. A little droplet. And there we go. I have my wording that says Happy New Year. So now I want to do a Kind of a banner going across it and make some champagne cups so let me go ahead and move the camera once again so that you can see the whole thing okay so here is my happy new year and then i can just decorate around it any way i want do some little swirlies around it some little dots some little exploding fireworks do any kind of fun uh decorations you want around it i'm going to go ahead and do like a banner that's going kind of 
across it. So I'm going to start right about right here. Just try to keep as straight as I can. And I'm going to go a little bit under it, like that. And then I'm just going to go, try to go as straight as I can. I didn't at the end. Go in and then back out. And I'll do the same thing over here. There we go. And because I want to make it a little bit dimensional, I'm going to make a little angle line. And then another one going across it at the top. Okay, just like that. All right, so I took a little break so I could do some cleaning up of my board here a little bit. Uh, I didn't think you need to see me doing that. It's basically I just went with my little wet rag and cleaned up any extra of the white shock that I thought was showing up a little bit too much. But like I said, uh, you don't have to worry about it too much because we're going to do a lot of little swirlies and things like that that will kind of hide that. Now I want some some champagne glasses over here somewhere doing a little bit of a clinking. So I think we're going to do them right about right here. So I'm going to do the uh, rounded part of the glass and then the flute coming down and then the, the stem and then the rounded part at the bottom. And then inside my glass is my champagne. I'm going to darken up my little flute here, my little stem, and then some little bubbles that signify the little bubbly that is inside. And then I'm going to do the other one. Excuse my back. <laughs> I'm going to do the other one right next to it. They don't have to be perfect. I'm going to just erase a little bit of that. I'm going to get my little moist towelette. Let that dry. The liquid inside. The stem. And then a little stand of the goblet. And the water, the champagne inside. And then little bubbles. And they're kind of clinking together, so I'm just going to make some little lines right there. And then now I'm just going to decorate it all the way around with some little explosions, so little fireworks explosions. Some short lines, some long lines like that. I'm going to do the same over here on the 2019. Some more around over here. And now I'm going to do some confettis. Little stringy ones. Little loops like that. Just everywhere. Like little poppers went out. here, a couple over here. Okay, so now I want to do some little sparkles everywhere. So I'm going to make some dark dots, some big ones. Everywhere. Everywhere that I have these uh, little lines. And then just do a bunch of them by just smacking the heck out of your board, okay? So I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead and do that and just put a little music or something right here.
can see here, I have added a lot of little specks everywhere, some more little curlies and just little bursts of lines coming out of everywhere just to give it a more festive, explosive look to my lettering. As you can see, it hides a lot of mistakes or if you can see them, try to pretend like you didn't see them. Uh, this is the first time that you're looking at it. Okay, so there's my sign and that's just my way of saying to you, Happy New Year everyone. All right, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed my little video for your Happy New Year Day. And that uh, you will leave a nice comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And hit that little notification bell so that you can be notified when I set up my videos, which is every Tuesday and Friday. So make sure you also share on your social medias. And as always, enjoy.